right folks, very narrow escape. It's a big, big herd usually in here. And I've seen these before when the farmers come and they've taken them all back to the farm for milking. That's what's happened, they've gone back to the farm. That's Longwood and I've, before now I've been able to get in over the fence. It's not easy. I'm just hoping now when I go through this gate that this next field is also free. Otherwise I will be climbing over the fence. One way or another. Yeah, there's a lot of cows in here. There's a lot of cow pack. Yeah. Anyway, every now and again the manure, the cow pack probably helps the soil. But they like it here. Look out, this how fresh this is down here. Yeah, loads of cow pack here. Yeah, if I'd have to, I'd have to climb up on there and onto that wall. But for now, I've got to avoid the cow pack. I don't know if there's any in this next field. This is the only other field I've got to go in. Very long grass, so I can't imagine. Oh. Yeah, it's handy to know that they're still using it for cows though, because the cows could be anywhere, couldn't they? You could be halfway across that field, for example, and there could be cows. So the farmer probably comes out just to check. Oh God, look at this lovely scene. Each field I go in is so beautiful, you know. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that scene. The long grasses and the clover and oh, it's just so beautiful. And over there is Velvet Bottom, of course, which I walked the other week. I'm going to turn off and take a picture. Lovely, lovely big clouds. Full of rain. It'll be going somewhere. Look at that one. Lovely big clouds. We're just going to... We've had today... We've, I've been very lucky. I've managed to pick the right days um, throughout my the walks this year. And I've been lucky because then you can go a week with terrible weather. You know? Do you know what? I can still smell that wild garlic. Although, of course, the flowers would have gone... God, just look at it though. Oh, it's so gorgeous, isn't it? The scenery. Well, I mustn't moan about my home though, because I've got a nice little flat really. Um, sort of, you know, it's something I can't always help your neighbours, can you? But um, most of them are all right, really. They're not too bad. You can, get, you can have a lot worse. <sighs> yeah, it's not easy living in a shared building though. Not really. The sound issues, smell issues, um, people's habits. Yeah, there's Longwood. Because if I'd got over the fence and I could have just walked down the steps, now I've got to go down and then walk along the track. But I haven't done it for a while and you wanted to do it, Sheila. You wanted to do it. Soon all those cows will be back over in that field, you know, after milking. Yeah, I've been lucky a few times, you know. If you, t if you time it right with these herds, they, he rounds them all up. And they do run, they do like to go in. They get fresh hay while they're being milked. You know, they do like it. And that filled back there, it did need to then he's probably this one you see it's allowing the grass to grow uh, I don't know if they can eat clover or not, I can't remember and then they'll be in here eating, munching so I've managed to do these fields because I do love Longwood but I didn't want to go in Longwood today I didn't feel like doing Longwood today um, I wanted to do these fields 
and like I say, velvet bottoms all over there. There's a load of cows running away from, I don't know, it could be the farmer. It could be the farmer over there. Just started, I spotted those cows earlier and there's a bloke. He might be the farmer, he might have a, a sheep dog, a cow dog. They're all moving away from him though. They're doing what they're told. Oh, there's a few hikers. Yeah, there's about three of them. Yeah, there's quite a few herds about. I feel absolutely saturated with beauty today, really. Um, there's been spells when it's been quite warm, but not bacon. I mean, I've been out in much hot, much hotter weather, you know, up in near 30s before now. This is only probably, could be 24. It's just lovely to be warm. You know, I just love being warm. Uh, it's almost like hoping my bones can retain it for the winter. Right, another lovely field to leave behind. I know I've caught the sun on my forehead a bit, so I'm going to put my hat back on now. We've left the shaded area. There we are. I left the shaded area, hat back on. And I know I've caught it, even though I put the cream on. I probably left that a bit late. Another style. Another one yet, yeah, I think. do not stop actually when you're in the countryside. Oh, it looks like cows come in here as well. Once again, probably the same farm. And they've all gone off to be milked. It's hay fever. I'm, I am going to take a pill soon. I'm going to take it when I get up the top of the lane, when I have my cheese. I might still go back Piney Slights way because I'm not quite sure where the cows are. If there's cows in those lower fields, they could be let back into the other fields where the goats are. So I think I'll just go across the long sheep field today. I won't take a risk just in case. <clears throat> yeah, I've got a uh, definite hay fever. No, I'll walk across Sheepfield and have me cheese and tomato and me crisps. That sounds right to me. Of course, you know, one minute from my house is the beach. <laughs> Say two minutes, because you have to cross the road. I'm not a beach person, I'm not a sunbather. <laughs> I can't think of anything more boring than sitting on the beach, you know, I just can't, can't. <sighs> yeah, normally there's cows in here as well, so they've all gone to be milked. <sighs> I've picked well today, but it was always a, a risk, you know, you never know. But then I had Longwood to go through if, it, if I had spotted them at all. They're big herds. There's another big herd up there. Over that side. I suspect some of them have got calves, you see. Yeah, because sometimes I do walk all the way along the top over there. But normally in the winter, when there are no cows, Right, there'll be one more stile or gate to get through before going up past Longwood again. And, and just in case, the herd that were definitely around when I left Cheddar this morning, they were ahead of me. I got a feeling they might end up in Piney Slights fields. So I have got to take a few risks. Anyway, but I don't think I'll go across those other fields today. 
um, it is quite a bit of a hike because there's some ups and downs like this to do. Whereas if I do Piney Slides Field and go back that way, it's more straightforward. I can pace myself better as well. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely going to need a antihistamine by the time I get up the hill. My nose is running. It's a hay fever. I need to get some more tissue set for my nose. I'll have to do that in a second, actually. I'll have to do that in a second. I'm videoing this because I haven't actually done this track for several years. So... And most of the time I was doing it the other way around. Walking up across the fields. Yeah, my nose is streaming. <sighs> okay, folks, I'm going to stop here and find some tissues. Over and out. Guess what? A long sheep field. Now, I've decided to go this way rather than across the other fields that way. That would be a lot more exposed in the heat of the day now. This has got some shade. Plus, I'm not sure with that herd of cows that I didn't see, but I could see fresh cow pack this morning, haven't ended up grazing down in those fields. So I thought, no. And it's no, it isn't much quicker going that way. At least I know how to pace myself in this field. Look, no one shut the gate properly, look. Didn't shut the gate properly. Hello sheepies! Hello darlings! How are you doing? Do you remember Sheila? We rescue you sometimes. So I wanted to come and see you all really anyway. Hello darling! Hello sheepy! Where's your lambs? Have they taken them away to eat? Have they? Where's your babies? Where'd you go on? No, I'm quite relaxed to come this way. I do like this field, actually, anyway. I just wondered where that big herd of cows has gone this morning. When I had to go across uh, over a wall with a really bad style, there was a big herd there. Now, that herd quite often end up in Piney Slight's fields. And if I'd gone that way... I could have, like, bumped into them. They might have calves. They might have a bull. You can't see from here. But I would have... Been, uh, I, the idea was to go that way around the fields, end up over there. I wanted to do it. But I am a bit hot, and I think the sheltered area is a much better idea. Oh, well, I've had my yoghurt bar. Coast. I can take, I do love walking along here, I do love this field and quite often I, use, I eat my cheese and tomato at this stage which is what I might do when I get a little bit further up I might have my cheese and tomato when I get past that big tree I'm going to have a nice gulp of water in a minute Just check the time. I'm getting the six o'clock anyway. It's quarter past four. The five o'clock bus hasn't even left Wells yet. That won't be for another quarter of an hour. So, and my one, I need, in an hour's time, I need to be on my way down Cheddar Wood. In an hour's time, I need to be at that stage of the walk. So, I didn't want to take on any extras or extra diversions if I bumped into the cows or anything. So, I'm just going to make my lovely little plod along here. I'm going to have a nice cold drink of water when I get to these trees. And then I'm going to have my cheese and tomato.
I'll probably get terrible indigestion, but I do like my cheese and tomato. I don't know why they make these fences like that. The sheep are getting stuck in them such a lot. The last time I was along here, three people were saving one. I've done it on my own. It's hard work. It's not easy to do. And you have to calm the sheep down and everything. They're usually lambs and they've usually got horns. It makes it even harder. Although what I do, I grab hold of one of the horns and I sort of have to t twist its head a bit. People come in over and out.